Hello, clever people, and welcome to our review of The Good Dinosaur. Connor, what is this movie about? This movie is about um, a dinosaur named Arlo, and he gets swept away from his family and meets Spot, who's been eating the family's corn, which means the family might starve for winter. So Arlo has to go on an amazing journey to try to get back to his parents. What did you think about this movie? I thought this movie was good. I didn't love it. I didn't think it was one of Pixar's greatest. Uh, I mean, I think Inside Out was better, but I thought that it was a highly enjoyable movie. I thought that the first 30 or so minutes of the movie, other than the one big plot point that happened, I thought it felt childish. What? I thought it just How felt... did you find this movie childish? I uh, no, 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 not the whole movie. I just, the first 30 minutes kind of felt like it was just a childish movie. I didn't really feel it. At first I was thinking, oh God, am I not going to like this movie? Once he finally leaves his parents' place, I thought that's when the movie finally got a lot better. I thought that the Spot character was a good contrast with Arlo. And I just, I love the one scene where they're explaining their family. That was just such a powerful that scene using sticks. Okay. What did you think of this movie? I loved this movie. This Love. movie was twice as good as Inside Out. What? This movie is twice as good as Inside Out. I find this is one of the, my favorite Pixar films. The animation is Great. outstandingly beautiful. Like you look into the background, it looks like a photograph and the water looks like it's real. It looks amazing. Really well animated. I, I find that this is a movie that Kids and adults will both enjoy. They're, it's a great story. Again, like the six and when they're describing family, and this is kind of a spoiler, but like when they uh, dig up the sticks, that is so powerful and so heartbreakingly sad. It is amazing. It's beautiful. And oh my gosh, this movie was great. Oh my gosh, it was oh. suspenseful. I really, I really like the scene with the T Rexes and how they meet it and. Arlo automatically likes the T-Rexes because he resemb they kind of resemble his family. It's just great. I really love this movie. I find this is my, in my top five of the year. Wow. I See, I, I definitely love the animation. I thought that the the dinosaurs were uh, they were a little bit uh, different than what the animation was fully looking like. I think a tad more realism would make it look better but still I really liked the look of it. I liked I don't know why, but I kept on noticing whenever Arlo would put his paw down. I really liked that animation. Yes. Uh, um, I thought that uh, Spot's character how they communicated, I thought that that was really well done. And um I saw that um like every time like I would look at a scene and then I would look at like Arlo's kneecap and it's like yeah. It's like a scratch. And it looks um it looks real it looks like something you would see it was just great i really love this movie the only thing i would ever say was bad about this movie is it was disgusting at parts yeah when it was, when the, an insect scene let's just yeah. put it at that yeah it, where it, that, something that was the bad only happens reason that i didn't give it a 10 out of 10. yeah well uh so yeah, to me i i just i don't think it would be one of the best i think the I, it's I barely remember the book that it was based upon, or at least it used the same name as the book. Uh, I thought, I just thought that it was a little bit childish in the beginning. That it just felt I like a little bit of a child see that movie. At all. I do not see that. I thought that the characters of the brother and sister, I felt like sometimes they were just kind of thrown in there that they didn't really advance the plot. I mean, they brought Arlo to wanting to get that paw. Yeah. But besides that, I just don't see a lot of importance that they had to the, the plot. The importance was it was, it resembled his family with the T Rexes, and that's why he bonded with the T Rexes. I, That's how I, I saw it. All right, well, what would your score be? My score would be a 9.95. Oh, my God, 9.95. Wow. Uh, okay, I'm not scoring it as high. I'll give it a 7. I A 7? A 7. Are you kidding me? I don't know how you give it a 9.95. I really enjoyed it. I'd see it again. It's just not a movie. I'm buying this on Blu-ray because of how beautiful it is and how outstandingly amazing it is. I, I just, I don't love it that much, but I, I think it's a very highly enjoyable movie. Okay. I think that you could definitely take your kids to see it and they'll love it. The adults will find the first 30 minutes just kind of eh, and then they'll finally start enjoying it when he goes on to his adventure. I, that, that, I do not feel that. I find the 30 minutes just as good as the rest of the movie. All okay, right. let, now let's talk about Sanjay's super team, the short before the movie. I thought that this short was, uh, what I liked is that there were so many cliches that the short could have gone on, but it never really did. It yeah. stuck, it, it was completely original. Just for example, when uh, 
the son walks away from the place, you think that he's going to instantly return having put his stuff away, but instead he does something completely different that I thought was original. I like how they showed pictures and it was based on a true story, mostly. Uh, mm. I, I thought that it was a well done short. I don't think it's gonna, one of the best. I don't think it's as good as Paper Man. I don't think it's as good as Feast, but it's a good short. I think it was one of the best. One of the best. Wow. Yeah, it was. I, I almost cried in that short. That was. Cried? I almost cried. I that was such a great short. I don't know why. I really liked the good dinosaur and the short. I really thought it how they how like they had religion and how he incorporates his own religion into it. Okay, what we're comparing this to um Inside Out and Toy Story. What do you think about Inside Out? This is my second favorite movie of the year so far. I love Inside Out. I, I saw it f four times in theaters. I saw it three days early, luckily, to Fathom Events. And when I saw it, I remember, I don't think I'll ever feel the feeling again, but I got out the feeling of pure joy. I was so happy with this movie. I was seeing it with a friend who was moving it away two days early, two days later. And it was, it's probably our best memory together. It's a really, really well done movie. Amazing animation. It is not amazingly, as as not as good as a good dinosaur, but still amazing. The those pure writing. I think that this is one of the best screenplays of the year. It really sh shows that kids that this is that Pixar doesn't make kid movies. It makes kid friendly movies. This this is a very heavy subject movie. They talk about not finding a job a lot, which I can relate to having just moved to San Diego. There's just I love this movie. It touched me, and mm. immediately once I got out of that screen, I'm like, darn, I'm gonna have to wait two more days to see it. So I saw it right once, uh, the first chance that I could. I saw it four times. This is a fan fantastic movie i also felt it was great it was it was my sixth favorite movie there mm -hmm. um i really really loved this movie i did feel that it, like there are some more um movies like the peanuts movie that like and the good dinosaur that i liked better only for the sake of they didn't make me feel like crap i felt like this movie just made me feel so badly and really yes i, I thought inside out made me feel really bad and it mm. was just, yeah. I, I, I really loved this movie. It was really, really well done. Really, it, I felt it was really great. And animation is beautiful, and that's good as good dinosaur. And what I really liked about this movie was, like, the adventure and how sadness is just like, I yeah. don't want to do anything. And Joy's like, come on, we have to get this done. We won't want my rally to be sad anymore. And, um... Yeah, it's just a really well done movie. Yeah, I, I thought that all the voice acting was fantastic, especially from Lewis Black as Anger. I thought that he just did fantastic and is one of the best voice acting ever. And uh, best joke of the movie to me, uh, it comes towards the end of the movie, so it may be a spoiler, cut to 10 seconds, but it's when Disgust is pointing to the red sign and says, uh, pu puberty? Yeah. I just, I loved that joke. What would your score be? Um, my score would be um, a 9.5. I, I, also 9.5. Yeah, um, I love my, this. My movie. favorite joke, joke of this movie is when they um, when like Anger's just like congratulations, San Francisco, you've ruined pizza. That was First great. First the Hawaiians, now you. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Uh, what do you think of Toy Story? Okay, Toy Story was the first Pixar mo movie. How can you not love Toy Story? I don't know anyone that said oh, I don't love Toy Story. <laughs> and if I did, I would go like, wow, you don't like movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Toy Story is just really great, and I feel. The animation's not as good as other Pixar movies, but that's because it's 1995, yeah. and I think it's better than some of the other technology that came out that year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was really, I really loved the story, and I really loved how it, it just gives the feeling of, what if you, ne you, you're never wanted again? Yeah. What if you're, you want to be loved, and you want to be cared for? What you do know, you think about this movie? A movie like this, what really stands out to me is that a movie like this, being the first computer animated movie, with movies like that that make groundbreaking feats like that, people s first say it com animated movie and then they say how great it is. But this, people say how great it is and then the fact that it was the first animated d digitally computered movie. Yeah. I love Toy Story. It's it's a great story. It's really well done. It introduces some very heavy themes. I don't think it's one of Pixar's best. I think I made a list about, I'd say four months ago around the time Inside Out came out and I put it at 10. I highly enjoy it. I definitely think it's one you should see. I don't think it's one of Pixar's best, but it's a highly enjoyable movie. Okay. And a movie every kid needs to see. Every, everyone needs to see this movie or 
they aren't a movie person. <laughs> yeah. What would you score it? I would give this a 9.96. 9 9.96. Well, I think I'm going to give it about an 8.5. 8.5 is where I put this at. It's an amazing movie. It's just, it's hard to fight with Pixar, but the fact that it made so many groundbreaking feats story-wise and animation-wise is great. So, I'm Robert Burke. And I'm Connor Gilbert. And this is The Clever Critics. Goodbye. Bye.